Greetings everybody, I am BrianD0313 and today we're com I'm coming to you with hopefully my last episode of Metroid 2 The Return of Samus. Previously we pretty much exterminated all the Metroids except for one, there's one left, which is a huge, huge Metroid. It's probably the Queen. So I guess, uh, I guess Samus uh, doesn't really worry too much about genocide. Because that's what she pretty much did. She pretty much eliminated an entire species from existence. That's cool. Why don't we do that to uh, creatures like spiders or uh, bees? Because they're actually pretty useful in life. This music is pretty cool. It'd be nice if they actually use this uh, music for... Uh, uh, for, uh, Turian. Turian, I think. I think I'm just going to associate this music with, a with actual Metroids. Like, when I think of this music, I think of Metroids. It's kind of a shame though, I think that this is the only game that we hear the music in. It's a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, it's a good thing because, uh, because the Metroid series uh, doesn't reuse music. They're ori uh, original with music, except for uh, Super, Super Metroid. They have some, they reuse, they uh, reuse some music. And it makes sense, like, how they actually reuse it. So on to the final boss. That door's messed up. Now there's uh, two ways to beat this boss, I believe. There's uh, the easy way, and then there's the uh, challenging way. But I'm gonna do it. I think what the easy way is, you gotta get inside his mouth. Maybe if I stay down here, he'll try eating me. Eat me? Oh, damn it. Damn it. Spam away. I always had trouble with this boss. Like for the longest time, I could never beat him. He does a lot of damage, of course. This is where we, where you do the trick. See, this is a trick. You go in inside her, and that's how you like pretty much kill her with the bombs. Die, queen, die! She may actually kill me. Nah, she's dead. Cool. Huh. Strange, we can't go over here. How am I supposed to get back to my ship now? That's not cool. Then we got all our health back. Nice. And we defeated the final Metroid. New music, huh? Can't go up there, though. Well, I guess we go over here, see what was behind her. And we got some cool music. I wonder what these things are. They're like diamond-like things. What is that? 
can't shoot it. Missiles aren't really doing anything. Let's move it. Oh my god, it's a Metroid. Oh, run away, run away, get away from me. What are you doing? You're destroying those things? Die, die, die. Come on. It's not doing any damage to me. That's that's pretty cool. It's just chilling me. Eh. Okay, you can hang out with me. Just as long as you're nice and don't try to suck my brains out. Why is it following me? Well, the answer to that is is because you know how uh, how like animals uh how uh. Like, when animals are born, the first thing that they usually see, they consider is their mother, and they pretty much latch onto it. Aw, oh, he's stuck. No, he's not. He's actually helping me out with this. But, uh, yeah. But I don't understand how that works, though, sometimes. Why don't the, uh, the baby, if, like, you have a lot of air to, in the, the baby's, uh, sea? And it, see one one of the other babies. What makes some not think that the other babies are uh, their mother? Yeah, oh, he's stuck again. Come on, Metroid. Yeah, oh, the stars. I guess we made it back up top. We made it back to the real world. Or uh, we made it back top side. I believe if we go up here, there's like a damaging field, maybe. I just want to see. Yeah, you can't go up there. It just has like the outer space atmosphere. Even though we're kind of, it kind of looks like we're in space now. But you can't go up there. It's a bad, very bad. And I guess we gotta go up here though. Come on. I like and hate the the, uh, the space jump. I like it because it's a good means of uh, traveling. I hate it because it's very glitchy, both in this game and in Super Metroid. Just don't hold right down as much as possible. We're falling, and we're back to our ship. Eh, let's just go check out the world once more. Hmm, wasn't there a door over here earlier? Oh, I guess that... Just after he defeated the last Metroid, there's like a major earthquake and it sealed off this area. So let's just get out of here. Bye bye Metroid. Have fun living here. I should probably kill you because you probably, uh, my job was to exterminate all the Metroids and if you stay here, you'll probably, uh, turn into a queen and, uh, make me have to redo my job again. So, bye bye Metroid. <laughs> die, 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 Metroid, die. Yeah, whatever. And we're in our ship. Strange. So that was, uh, Metroid 2, The Return of Samus. Where are you running? You're running in space? So we'll see if there is a natural ending. 10 episodes of 15 minutes, maybe 3 hours, a 3 hour let's play series, and we get credits, which is pretty cool. So let's see, uh, compared to Metroid 1, I think it's a pretty good game for a Game Boy. Though so it would have been nicer if they actually put it on the NES system, probably be a lot more powerful, probably could add a lot more stuff, but oh well. Uh, let's see, music? There wasn't that m much music, uh, but it is a Game Boy, so I guess it bounces, bounces out, uh, so I guess for music, I give, I give it about an 8. It's got some cool music, that last, uh, that Metroid music that I was talking about, I, uh, I'm gonna give that, a, like, a 10. Uh, let's see, uh, level design. Yeah, level design. I give it about. I give it a ten. Pretty. Nah, not a ten. I give it an eight because of the, those uh, stupid sections. Like, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, level five. Uh, 
it's only a quick area where you fight one boss. I wasn't pointing at that. Just laziness. So I did that in 8. Like, there are some cool areas. I did the whole whole map, whole game had all the, had areas like that. Then sure. Uh. Uh, usefulness, uh, weapon usefulness, or uh, upgrade usefulness. Uh. Hmm. There's the wave beam, spacer beam, ice beam, and plasma beam. But you, you pretty much get them all at the same exact time. Pretty much. I think we got the best end there. Because she got naked on us. <laughs> oh, time. 2.44. Nice. And yeah, we get to look at Samus in her uh, underwear. And she's in black and white. You need to tan a little bit, uh, Samus. At least it tells us how much time you had. But, uh, 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 usefulness of the items... Uh, if I could use the freeze beam with uh, the other items, it'd be pretty useful. But of course, they didn't do that. Uh, the weapons are pretty cool. I think spacer beam is probably the best weapon because uh, because it has that uh, three shot thing. But uh, the plasma beam, I believe, is the most powerful. Uh, there's a spring ball, spider ball, space jump, all very useful. Screw attack. Uh, it's a very useful item, but I think you get it too late in the game. But overall, I, I think I rate the items uh, a 9. Uh, difficulty? Uh, the bosses weren't that difficult, I guess. Uh, Zetas and uh, and Omegas are, I believe, are, are actually pretty difficult in my opinion. But uh, boss difficulty, I rate about a 6, six to 7. Final boss, I don't know why I always had trouble with her. With the queen, that's her name. Final boss, I give it about a... Uh, final boss... Yeah, six or seven. She wasn't that hard, I guess, if you know what you're doing. Uh, let's see. Overall, I rate the game about an eight. It is on the game, boys, so... There's much to desire. But it was a good game. I guess it has a replay value, in my opinion. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention uh, being being able to shoot downwards and being able to uh, crouch and kneel, definitely a ten for that. <laughs> but uh, that's about. You can also shoot in uh, diagonal upwards, I believe, as well. But that's about it for this uh, Let's Play series. Thank you for watching. Join me next time when maybe I'll actually do Zelda 2 or Super Mario World. But the cool thing is, is that now all I got left is uh. Uh, Super Metroid and Super Mario World, and then I'm done, pretty much done with uh, those series. Unless if I want to hook up my uh, my uh, N64 to a capture card. So, yeah, so so then I'll be done with those those uh, these two series, and I could probably move on to uh, Zelda, finish up that, and I could do other let's uh, start other let's play series. But that's about it for this uh, episode. Uh, Subscribe, I guess. Like my episodes. Just like it makes me happy. Comment on them. I like to see comments. I try to reply as much as possible. Uh, come and say hi sometimes. Maybe we can hang out. Maybe Samus will hang out with us. And, uh, well, join me next time, people. This has been BrianD0313 saying see ya and have a good day, folks. Greetings everybody, and we are back to Metroid. I just jumped into the spikes. <laughs> now, I, I plan on uh, showing you people the uh, alternate ending, which should be the normal ending, or worst ending. I don't know if there's more than one ending. There, I know there's at least two. I don't know if there's three. And I'm going to uh, fight the boss the easy way. So what you want to do is get the missiles ready. Wait for her. Open the mouth. Open your mouth, bitch! Jump in her mouth. Try to blow the shit out of her with the bombs. I think. Lower up! Look at her, her eyes. Well, I don't know if that's her eyes or not. Oh shit, I missed it. 
I could have sworn that there was an easier way to do this. I could have s oh, this is why you go over here. This is how you kill her. Gotta go down into her stomach. Down into the stomach. Is she dead yet? No. She is beating the shit out of us, though. Lower up. Lower up from the inside. And she's dead. She is dead, baby. Still collect our little metro. Let us through. Let me through. Still collect our little baby Metroid. This time we're going to blow it up before it actually hatches. The alternate, alternate ending. Die, 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 Metroid egg. Why won't you die? What are you made of, out of uh, titanium? Trilithium? Just going to bypass you. Oh my god. Oh wait, nah. You need, it. You, uh, need the... Uh, Little Metroid baby to beat the game or to uh, make it to the end because it has to eat that shit. What is that like Metroid food or something? What's that like diamonds? Run, run away, run to the end. Run, Sam! It's like you never run before. Ran before, run before. What do you people think? Climb, climb. Get to the end. Beat the game. I still don't understand why this Metroid is following, following us. Is it supposed to be like attacking us or something? Let's get a move on. Move it. Uh. Oh, we gotta climb. Climb some more. Climb. Climb. Don't mess up your screw attack jumps. And we land in the ship. Precision jumping. Pro tip. Oh, just missed it. Samus, you get... You for that poor effort, you get like a 7.2. Because you couldn't land in the ship. You're not gonna run. Oh, there you go. Start running in space again, Samus. Run! Run like you never ran before. Be cool if she started a uh, moonwalk in. So, meet the team. Producer, Dumpe, Yoko, Yokoi. I'm gonna name my child Dumpe. Director Hiroji Kiyoke. Taki Taka Hero. Why, why must these people have such strange names? Tired. Nothing much to talk about. I pretty much did my uh, my uh, little ending speech earlier. A lot of people worked on this game. Ah, the oh, debutters. Going to curse the designers for having those uh, simple stages in the game. Like, why do you have to make it so simple? And they probably just ran out of memory. Free space. Special thanks to Takei Hero, Phil, Phil Santa, Tony, Yoko, Hero, Dan, Dylan, and Sachi. Presented by Nintendo. How did she go from her ship to uh, being in space? 328, so if you uh, beat the game in over 3 hours, you get this uh, little sprite for the ending.
It's not as cool as the naked Samus, but oh well. What can you do? So, uh, join me next time, people. This has been Brian D0313 saying see ya and have a good day, folks.